Hello, everyone. I'm Kathleen. Hey, I'm Nancy. And we are on the needles. the needles. Do you know what episode this is? Is it 19? No. Is it 20? 20. Oh. oh, my 20. goodness. 20 episodes. And That's it's so been amazing. We'll have to look back and see when our first episode was. Was it like in June or July? You know, I think it was because I remember it being really hot. We were outside. Yeah. 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 Oh, my gosh. That is so awesome. Okay. So we're going to do a giveaway to celebrate our uh, 20th podcast episode. And Nancy and I will get our little uh, side hustles or our main hustle. I guess this is our side hustle together and put um, some yarn and some some trilogy yarn and some Knitter's Pride needles together. And we will... Um, randomly draw the winner from comments below on the podcast so leave a comment tell us something that you like or don't like about our podcast and oh um, and be gentle be gentle right but we we do want we do don't mind constructive criticism but constructive is the key word right and um or something you'd like us to talk about or questions whatever whatever comment you want to leave and you will be entered to win our little prize and we will announce that the next one next one sure when shall we so we'll maybe just draw like right before we uh record our next episode yeah so yeah you'll have two weeks hopefully two weeks we yeah kind of life kind of gets in the way sometimes and we're yeah not as consistent as we probably would like to be but we started out so consistent I know and we're going to get back we there. We'll, we'll get yes there. but yeah. yeah so just yeah comment and let us know and maybe you'll win an awesome prize can I enter because I really want some knitters pride needles I might be able to hook you up yeah and you know <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about this too but you know that yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah awesome so my gosh it's been three it's been plus yeah. has it been yeah. three plus weeks yeah so what's going on what's new well i'm uh we're in the process of switching some rooms around and you can kind of see right here some of the chaos um we're switching our guest room this is like our guest room office slash you know we've got the day bed there and um I also am, and so is Mimi, really into paper crafting, like card making, scrapbooking, all kinds of paper crafting stuff. And so we're moving all of our paper crafting stuff down here and the guest room part up to, in our 1953 house, what is the master bedroom, which is tiny and has a little bathroom attached to it. So um, we thought that would make a nice little guest suite. Is so we're upstairs? in the process. Yeah, that's upstairs. Yeah, it looks out over the backyard. So, oh, it's, okay. Yeah, it's right above me. And then, speaking of the backyard, we have a huge yard, and it's thank goodness at this point it's very established, but there's always something that we want to do. So, we've been working on that because the weather has gotten so nice. It's great. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Although, I think it rained last night. Well, they said thunderstorms. I must have slept right oh. through them and I had my window open, but oh, I didn't hear. Yeah, I didn't hear I didn't hear that either. Um, what else? Oh, we met some friends. Um, this was so fun. This was like our first, well, I guess we went and saw Mimi's mom in Boise, but we met a couple of my knitting friends over on the um at the gorge, which in Washington State, it's uh the Columbia River runs kind of through the middle of the state and it you know over millennia has carved out this gorgeous oh it's just stunning it's kind of deserty there and so it's just this rock gorge with all these vistas that are and and there's a tiny town on either side of the river and i-90 goes over the river and so it's a great place to it's a halfway pretty much from seattle um and spokane so to, I lived in Seattle for about 20 years. And so my uh, really dear friends came over and met us at this amazing resort called the Sage Cliff Resort. And it's, it's a winery also. So there's like little um, cottages and built right into the side, you know, the side of the gorge. And then in between are like vineyards. I mean, it's just mm. dreamy. 
So we spent a weekend there and it was so nice to get away and the weather was hot. It's hot there in this, in the middle of the state. So it was great. It was, it was, uh, we were so excited just to like get out and sleep in a different place, you know? <laughs> I'm going to shift this way just a second to let a cat out. Okay. So okay. that was wonderful. And they're knitters. And so we spent the weekend knitting, walking, swimming. It was that warm. Mm. And um, just soaking in the friendship, this, you know, 30 year friendship that we've had. So it was wonderful. Nice. So what about you? Well, nothing nearly as exciting as that. Uh, <laughs> Actually, um, nothing being probably the key word here. But just, we've been so busy. That's the thing. I can't think of even what we've been doing. I know. Well, I've just been, I've been busy working, trying to, you know, I think that next time I try to do four big trunk shows in a month. Oh, I should know, talk just, you out of it. Yeah. It's just uh, remind me of what, what is this, April, April of 2021, how crazy oh it was. Gosh. It's hard to say, you know, when you are a sole proprietor and me as a, a contractor, it is hard. It, it's hard to say no, because we don't know no. if it's going to keep going. I mean, I guess you never know, even if you've got a right. permanent job, yeah. permanent, but yeah, I, I, yeah. I know what you mean. It's, yeah. and then you're just so incredibly busy. You don't. So, you yeah. Anything. In fact, um, I've, had to make the decision and I think I'm okay with this to not put a garden in this year you know oh. I've got a pretty good size house and a pretty good size yard and I can't do it all yes. anymore you know yeah. and so and I've got these wonderful wonderful raised garden beds that we did oh, know, probably are. three or four years ago yeah and it's so much fun but I just you know I've got strawberries in one I'm gonna put tomatoes in the other and between the strawberries and the tomatoes and the raspberries and the blueberries, I think that's it. I'm, I'm just going to kill the ground and just let it be this year, which, you know, it's kind of sad. It is, but it's not a bad thing to let it's the soil rest. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I just, um, it's a, it's a priority. Do I want to yeah. work or do I want to play in the dirt? And right. right now I'm, I'm working. So um, but yeah, it's starting to get nice and, um, I, I am putzing a little in the yard and spending time on the deck, starting to enjoy that, but oh, I, haven't, I haven't been anywhere. Um, oh, I did a trunk show. I take that back. I did a trunk show two weeks ago, uh, in-person trunk show at Knit Knit Coeur d'Alene. And that was, that was fun. It was just fun to get out and see yeah. people, you know, yeah. a lot of my, our local knitting group showed up. Yeah. It was just fun to get out and interact with other knitters. Yeah. So that was fun. But yeah, I haven't, uh, nothing exciting. Just um, keeping nose to the grindstone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if this is your first time with us, we are in Spokane, Washington. And um, Nancy's a, a hand dyer. Trilogy Yarns, and I am a knitting blogger and social media manager for Knitter's Pride. And we've known each other, gosh, how long, Nancy? Since like 2009. No. That's when I moved was... here. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess since 2009. Because, yeah, because I knew, you know, I've known Mimi, your wife. Yeah. For, gosh, I don't even long know time. how long. Long time. Yeah. 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 So yeah, we're been knitting buddies for years. Knitting buddies. buddies. So, but yeah. Um, so and and getting back to introducing ourselves. Um, if this is your first time watching us, welcome. And if it's your not first time watching us, welcome back. <laughs> and uh, be sure and like and subscribe and and comment. We love reading the comments, especially this time because you might win an awesome prize. Yeah. Oh, we should do the, the little admin stuff. Speaking of admin stuff, shall we um, finish up our knit along? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> our knit along that we I think had, that I neither kind of, of us the ball. did. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, the win. The winner is uh, gets this set of likey. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but that's how we've been saying yeah. it. Um, it's probably licky, licka or something. And it's the interchangeable denim 
set. And the reason I didn't finish mine is because Kath told me I couldn't win the prize. So yeah, so that was, you know. I got yarn for mine and I cast on and I just, I don't know, I'm not even gonna try. And then all of your little accessories are here, your boards and that kind of thing. So I love these needles. They're super smooth and um, beautiful to work with. So we did draw a winner, randomly drew a winner. And oh, drum roll on the desk. Yeah. And the winner is Michael Nitz. Hey, Michael. And he did an awesome, I should show it. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. pull it up. Yeah. Um, he did a beautiful version of this. And so Michael, see. we'll reach out to you. Um, either Ravel, well, probably Ravel. Is that where he posted it on Ravelry? Uh, yeah, I think it was Instagram. Cause we could, yeah, we could reach out to him on Instagram. Yeah, yes. we just need your mailing address and we can get that in the mail to you. The collective we. Right. <laughs> now I've just got to find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's really neat. Okay, so let me share my screen. It's poor planning on my part. So here he is with his beautiful, beautiful shawl. Oh, I love that and, one. Um, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So Michael, good job. These will be coming your way. Like Nancy said, we will get a hold of you and I'll, I'll mm -hmm. just like bomb you in all of your places. <laughs> um, not bomb you with, with a message. Yeah. It bomb in oh, a lovingly way. In a lot. Yes. In an yes. exciting way. Right. Yes. So, so have you, exciting. I see, so you're wearing something that you finished. I am. I am. Do you want me to, how many, how many objects do you have? You should have I a have bunch one. since been forever. No, I have one. One. Okay. Oh, well, I have three, so I'll go. Okay. Then let's, let's start with this one. So this is the smoke and mirrors cow, uh, cowl. So this is a knit along that um, Knitter's Pride is doing. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, we do a knit along four-ish times a year and it's uh, hosted on Ravelry on our group page. And yeah. we've done, our designer we're working with right now is Crystal Hyatt and she's Millie's Knit Designs. And she did the Winterberry shawl, um, was the winter knit along. That was a beautiful shawl. And then this little yeah, beauty. Oh, this is fun. This yeah. Is, um, so what I use, the colors I used on the top, I've used the blush. And this is just a little bit of a, you know, a little yarn over. Uh, and I can't see my camera cast. So let me know. I if can I see it. Yeah, I got it. So yeah, um, just a, a little bit of a yarn over design. And then you go into some stockinette. And I introduced my other two colors. Um, I used sea urchins and turquoise blue. I love that combo. And then you just, it, it's just, yeah. Isn't that fun? What is that stitch at the bottom? Is that just more yarn overs? It's just yarn overs. Yeah. Okay. Just some stockinette with some garter ridges and then just a row of um, yarn overs. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. So I, I entered my picture. So hopefully. Oh, wait, that's the bottom part. So that's the part. I'll show mine. Oh. So I have... Um, I'm not as far as you are because I abandoned it for the sweater that I'm working on, but this is um, so mine that's, that's, so far. Yeah. And it is Nancy's, I want to say teddy bear, but that's teddy not, bear? yes, okay. teddy bear. Okay. And then um, this is Little Nugget. Is that right? Yeah. Little yeah, Nugget. Little Nugget. Named after Diamond Cody's dog. Yes. And, and then this is Sand Dune, which is going to be my third color. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, very fun, very easy knit. It is a free pattern. Yeah. So, um, and it didn't even take um, 50 grams per of a ball. So, um, and I think the pattern says how much I should, I should weigh mine, but yeah, great. You know, it took me just a couple days. It's a pretty mindless knit. So, yeah. And it, I think it would even be pretty in one color or two colors you know I think yeah. it's pretty versatile like if you have leftovers 
Oh yeah. You know, I mean the stripe, the stripe section wouldn't, you'd have to use two colors, but yeah. I would use two. Yeah. But you yeah. could easily. Yeah. Fun. Good stash buster. Yeah. So that was project number one. Uh, project number two, I already gifted. So I'm going to show a picture. Mm. I made a pair of, um, I had a random skein of some yarn that I was, I had dyed up and I didn't like it. it. It didn't turn out the way I wanted. So I just, I throw it in a pile. I've got skeins of yarn like that laying around. And then I picked it up and thought this would make gorgeous socks for my brother-in-law. Um, oh yeah. I, that yeah. color is awesome. Oops. Yeah. No, you can yeah. see it. But it's such a so, gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous you got to make, make that color. I, I need to, um, kind of reproduce it but mm -hmm. so I made them for my brother-in-law and I we did went he over, like them yes we went over there last weekend and uh my sister and my mother and I we will get together and play cards for money because that's what <laughs> we do and um so he was upstairs watching golf and he came down to the kitchen to I don't know get something to drink and and he didn't have his socks on so I I kind of said what's the deal I mean, yeah. the socks. So next time he came down, he had a socks on. He goes, they fit great. So, <laughs> oh, good. Um, so that was good. I was, I was glad. I he's had a couple pair of hand knit socks. So, it's getting almost too warm in here. I asked if he wanted shorty socks. Um, he's a big golfer. He probably just wears the cotton socks. So, yeah. oh, probably. So that was number two, and number three. So I've got this bucket of goodies here. It's another pair of socks, and I have lost my sock blockers. I think I oh, sent no. them off with samples for a trunk show. Oh, um, I'm still waiting to get some samples back from a trunk show, but I think my sock blockers are there because I usually keep them in the cubbies behind me and I can't find them. So these are socks off the sock blockers. Um, this is the Great Gatsby oh, uh, Felici. I love those. And just a, just a vanilla sock. Um, I do mine toe up with just the, the wedge toe, fish lips, kiss heel. Hey, who needs sock blockers? I have a hand. Yeah. Fish lips, kiss heel. And um, then my leg and a, I do a two by two rib at the top. So what bind off do you use on the top? Um, I use normally uh, knit two together through the back loop. Mm -hmm. But when we were on our Tuesday night Zoom the other day, um, was it Karen was telling Carmen about the real stretchy bind off that she did on her sweater. And so I did that on the socks for my brother-in-law. So you knit two stitches and then you pass them back over to your left hand needle and then you knit through the back loop. And then you knit another stitch so you have two stitches on your right hand needle pass them back to your left hand needle and then to the back loop so it's somebody's stretchy bind off i, I think know. it's called the elastic bind off is that the elastic is that the one off? yeah i think that's what it's like technically called yeah. yeah and i did that one on this oh okay and i am a, usually when i bind stuff off i'm a pretty loose you know i i, uh -huh. I do it pretty loose so this i thought i was going to have to rip out because it just seemed like it almost um kind of you know had the wavy ripple. edge yeah ripple, thank you uh, words <sighs> and so when I block I was able to flatten it but yeah it looks it's it lays really nice yeah it lays good now so yeah so those are my three finished objects yeah cool okay so I only have one and it's not even blocked I have to run and get my work in progress while you're doing okay it. Okay, so this is my circle square hat. So I think I talked about this the last time and it is like my new favorite thing. So this is the front. So this is the circle and this is the back, the square. So it's got a little pooch right there, you can see. Um, and it is so warm. It's out of this, this unique sock um and that is what the socks would have looked like so i am in love with this hat it is so warm it's see the this circle part is doubled and um 
me see if I can. So you can see here, there's a ridge right here where you you knit these, the two, you knit a big circle and then fold it in half. Our knitting group called it the quesadilla hat. And then you pick up stitches along, or you don't pick them up, they're there, but you knit these two together and then you start decreasing um, in the back to make the square. Oh, cool. So it is really cool. And then Mimi made one too, and I was going to show that. So mine is out of the unique sock, and Mimi unearthed a ball of um, tie dye, it was called. It's like from 2009 or something. Hmm. And um, so hers had a little bit longer color runs. So her square's got that cool blue. Yeah. But this is by uh, Martina Bem. And it is, um, it's not a free pattern, but it's so awesome. I would recommend it. And the, it's so warm because it's doubled. So we wear the, we, uh, I think, you didn't knit one of these, did you, Nancy? I did not. I've been um, cast on one of the Musselburg hats. Oh, yeah. That's oh, like a long, you knit this mm -hmm. extraordinarily long tube and put it inside and then it folds, folds up. up and, right. Yeah. yeah. So, so I you got four cast, layers over your ears. Cast one of those on, but yeah. That's like the Just, It's kind of a mindless. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I didn't say either. I'm wearing my striped sweater by... Andrea Maori, and it's with um, Wool Folk Snow, it, and it, that's the fingering weight yarn, and it's written, I think, for Sport or DK, so, but this yarn has a lot of loft to it, so it worked out just fine. Yeah, it's kind of cold out today. Yesterday, it got like to 86, so today is a little, like, I know. 20 it's degrees weird. cooler, so you can wear sweaters today. Yeah, and I, this is so light. I mean, it's, it's wool, but it's really... Um, I, you know, it's knit at a little bit of a more open gauge kind of, but it's really a light sweater. I love it. So that's my finished object. So that's sad, yeah. kind of sad that I only have one after three weeks, but there it is. Well, what have you been working on then? What's on your needles? Something's mm. taken all your time. Yes. I'm obsessed. This is... I'm going to show the picture of it first. Um, and I have shown this before. Okay, so this is the Giesel sweater by Irina Anakiva. And it is this gorgeous lace back. And then the front is just plain. So I bought yarn for it from Knit Knit the studio, or no, Knit Knit um, Coeur d'Alene, our other knit shop. And I it's Polka Dot Sheep, Ski Town Sport, Dusty Road. And por Polka Dot Sheep is in- Whitefish. Whitefish. Whitefish, Montana. So here's my progress so far. Gorgeous. And then the fronts are just plain. So it's all one piece. And did I bring the pattern in? No. So the chart on this is su super easy. And it is printed like on a whole page. So I really appreciate that. Irina, <laughs> because it's <laughs> if you're big. if you're watching, <laughs> yes, it's big and nice and easy to follow, and it's just there's no nothing complex about this. It's just a combination of little lace and um, there's cables in here, which I didn't really realize, but there's a little section. Oh yeah, of cables that kind of goes between. Mm -hmm. So this is what has been taking up all my knitting time, and. Um, I just am enjoying it so much. And then the yarn is really nice to work with. And, but it's really the lace pattern. I have not knit lace for a while. And um, it's such an easy pattern. And I'm finding that, you know, I, I section off each repeat with markers, mm -hmm. which is key for me. So I've got these little markers here every repeat. 
and it's a 22 stitch repeat. So I try to count after my lace rows just to make sure I have 22, but I have made a couple of mistakes, but they've all been um, missed yarn overs and that's so oh, easy to fix. Easy to pick up, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. So that has been on my needles most of all. And then my cowl, which I already showed. And, and then I've showed that habitation blanket a million times, but I didn't even bring that Must in. Must be but. getting close to the end on that. I, well, yeah. And I kind of stopped working on it because that was my last obsession. Mm -hmm. And I kind of stopped working on it because I want to have it for just like group knitting and yeah. TV knit, you know, and although I've been knitting this lace thing in group, I've knitted on zoom on Tuesday and yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't, I just, it's not hard. And I did not expect that yeah. because, you know, mostly people are like, oh, my TV knitting project has to be all stocking at the round or whatever. But, um, even like I had a couple drinks the other night and I knit on that. And as I was knitting, I'm like, this is so stupid. You are going to be so sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow, Tomorrow I'm going to be ripping out all the work. I, I know, did. I know. But then I, then the next day I was like picking it up going, oh God, you know, Kathleen, when are you going to learn? And <laughs> it was fine. And yeah. so, I mean, I'm not going to count on that. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we don't encourage drinking drink every and knitting night, if you're you doing know, lace but, work. Yeah. yeah. So good. we shall see. But uh, how about you? What have you got going on the needles? Well, I, um, of course, had to cast on another pair of socks. Of There's course. been a lot of um, waiting room knitting oh. uh, the last couple of weeks. So um, I did cast on. Oh, that's pretty. What color this is a uh, trailhead. Oh, I love that. So just and I'm going to do some shorty socks now. Uh -huh. um, so I just have the toe and I've just gone to, so I can switch to my nine inch circulars. Um, and I just do on my shorty socks, um, I about an inch up from the heel. I can eat, I've done both ways where I'll do, you know, maybe an inch of just a little ribbing or just do a bind off. So it curls like on the Rose, I think it's the Rose City Roller socks. Oh yeah. I've so there's there's no ribbing. Mm -hmm. So I, I do both. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do on this one, but just um, pretty much like to leave this one in the car. It's yeah. It's easy to, to grab and go because- Because now in waiting rooms, you kind of just wait in the car, right? Or can you go in? Um. Yeah, with my granddaughter, I can go in, but she's had some procedures, and so I can't go back for the procedure. So I right, and they have you sit in the hall. So you oh, can, okay, you know, you can sit in your car. You, they just don't want you leaving campus, leaving the campus. Right, but, um, right, yeah. So I've got that. I always have to have a pair of socks. I'm just about done with the cold shoulder oh, pullover, yeah. and I'm going to show you a picture of it here. Um, where did I put it? <laughs> now I can't see. You want me to pull it up? No. Oh, you got it. Um, I got, got it. I just need to wait for um, my screen to go away. Come on. Why isn't it? Oh, I guess this requires glasses. Technology. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I thought I had it pulled up, but let me just go there real quick. I should do this before I switch my screen, huh? <laughs> uh, there we go. This one. Cute. So, um, yeah, I'm just, what was, that's by a uh, knititude. Yeah. So I was hoping to get this finished last night on zoom, but I didn't. So I've, I've got everything done. Here's the body. That's pretty. What color is that? A stormy weather. Oh, stormy weather. Yeah. And so, but I didn't have enough dyed up. So I dyed up another batch for the collar. So the collar is actually going to be a little darker. Oh, but I think neat. it's going to give it, you know, some coolness yeah. to it. So you yeah. need to do the ribbing for eight inches and I'm about five. So okay. I just need so to you're do close. That. I'm close. And then because it sits off the shoulders, 
<clears throat> and they recommend maybe taking a, an elastic thread and just on the inside here where you pick up from the wrong side and then it folds oh, uh -huh. over. But just throwing sewing in a little bit of an elastic thread if it's uh, just to keep it on the shoulders. This yeah. is super wash. I, uh, I, if I was doing this for me, I would have done non super wash, but I'm doing it for one of the grandkids. And so yeah, so I'm almost done with that just in time for winter for summer. Yeah. And so it's, this is a worsted. So oh, yeah. It's, okay. it's gone pretty fast. I just, I just yeah. haven't had a lot of I think because I've been so busy that at, at night I just kind of sit. I'm, I'm you know, You're exhausted. And, yeah. and I'm kind of lost at what I want to work on. So I did a lot of working on my cozy memories blanket. Oh, I love Oops, that. And of course, I'm right in the middle of a square, but I got quite, a, I think I probably put on. Oh, you know, wow. Quite a, quite a bit on that. Yeah. So this is you know instead of doing dish I've, I've got a drawer yeah. of dish cloths, but sometimes you just need mindless knitting so i just keep this in the in the um, basket beside me but nice yeah, cozy memories that's so pretty this is a fun one yeah and i've got so many and the, most of this is um not my yarn i um i do have a big tub full of trilogy yarn scraps so maybe um maybe I'll do another blanket or I I've got that bits and bobs blanket or even the habitation throw yeah so I've got so I've got this blanket going and I've got the uh crocheted granny stripe that I haven't touched for a long time cool but yeah so that's pretty much what has been getting my love yeah, uh, but like I say, it just it's I just have been in a loss as to what to knit, what I want to knit. And I have you just, have you found a cardigan pattern? I know I last did, time I did find one. So oh. um, yeah, after have we have you done okay. your works? You did your works. And, yeah, I did. So I we can yeah. You want to jump oh. into what? Yeah, next? yeah. So um, I have been searching and searching for a cardigan pattern. I've got this. Um, I dyed up this. Now this oh. is kind of a I I don't skein my yarns up nice that I keep for me you would never get a skein <laughs> like this from me um but this is on my non-super wash and this is just a cabernet so it's just kind of a jewel toned um but That's I'll show cool. you the um in fact I just bought the pattern last night um okay I gotta wait for this to go away so this is E e Ebits. Ooh, that's e pretty. Ebits. Ebits. So, um, and I think, I don't know if you were on Zoom last night when I was talking. So it doesn't have a button band here. And this is like a twisted rib. And I, but I'm going to alternate skeins. So, um, and I don't want to do it at the beginning of the row because I don't want to have to put you know, I, I haven't read the pattern to see, but I don't know that this is, there's a finished edge here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. But with the ribbing, because it is a rib, I think I can alternate under an arm and you wouldn't see mm -hmm. it because otherwise, I mean, I would do the, the helical knitting if it was in the round. Yeah. But since it's not, um, but yeah, I just thought this looked like just a nice, cozy, fun it's got some nice little, it's got this braid here. Oh, that is really cute. So yeah, as soon as I finish, finish this cold, uh, hello. <laughs> cold that shoulder. is so versatile. I love yeah. that. Yeah, because I don't, I'm not one for button bands. And it looks like sometimes without a button band or with some of the shawl collars, it looks, they don't stay on your shoulders very well. Mm -hmm. but I think this one looks like it will so yeah yeah that's my next cast on and cool. that is by um who is that by blue bee studio hmm. so, yeah but it, it took me a while I looked at I had lots of patterns favorited and and then I thought well maybe do I want to do color work I just I couldn't decide but I had yeah. this you know in a bucket with my name on it so so that'll be my next cast on probably um, 
I should finish that collar this weekend. I don't know what I've got going on, but hopefully by the first of the week. Oh yeah. Do you, have you knit a sweater out of Cabernet? I have not. Um, I, I think that is such a pretty color. I have not. I have done, yeah, no, not the Cabernet. I like, yeah, I like Cabernet. Yeah, Just I think rich, that'll look great. Color, yeah. And I yeah. love where the jewel tones now, it seems like that because I am this lovely shade of gray. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm getting my hair cut this next week, guys. I think I'm going to go short and spiky again. I tried oh, to grow it, it out. It grows fast. Yeah, I know. So it's time to shorten it for summer and spike it. But yeah, I'm so I like to wear the today. jewel tones. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm what's... getting my hair cut today. Oh, yeah. I'm not so going nice. to do anything too different. But Okay, so I have, I'll show you my... Well, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, so I do love this about the Zoom being able to show the yeah. pictures. Okay, it's called the Classic, and it's from Espas Trico, which is a shop in Montreal, I believe, somewhere in Canada. Yeah, and it is just a plain old sweater. Um, I love the funnel neck. Um, let me see here. It it's this, this is okay. I have no words. Let's see. This is knit with two held together that, um, which is the, you know, all the in thing to do right now. Two what weight? Two yarns. Uh, I, I believe it's a lace in a fingering. Because oh. it equals a DK. Uh -huh. So it's this, I, I don't know how you say her name. I, I say your, I say her, um, fingering and, and the mohair. So that's what this is. I'm not a super fan of that. Um, and then there's another one, which I need to be able to get to here. That is by them. That is, um, can you see this one? Paloma? Yes. Okay, so this is basically the same sweater. And they all but, look like the turtle dove that they did that one Yes, time. yeah, they are kind of a version of that. So this has the um, ribbing here, which I love, but mm -hmm. it's super short and I hate that. So I'm gonna do a combo of the classic and the Paloma because I love this ribbing. And the classic has some short rows in the back. So it's kind of an updated version mm -hmm. of this. And so I'm gonna put the two together and um knit that and i do love that funnel neck like mm -hmm. on the big y i did that and it pull you know it kind of pulls down a little bit it's not like a turtleneck mm -hmm. so i'm going to make mine loose so when i have it on it'll kind of just not you know be a joker and um the ribbing is kind of long on the sleeves so it's very um i mean classic i guess and and subtle, but it is, I feel like it'll be something that's super wearable. And I'm not a flashy, like I like a stripe obviously, but um, I, I have to push myself to do like bright colors and stuff. Like you're talking about the jewel tones. I, I don't have, I think I have a summer, like a cardigan that's kind of a raspberry color, mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. and I do like red, but I don't, I don't normally gravitate towards so keeping that in mind this is the color <laughs> that i chose it's kind of a plummy brown and it is wool folk tov and it's a dk so it is the weight of the two um oh it's kind of like this i didn't even really think about that um it's the weight of the two yarns that they use together mm -hmm. and so um at our knit shop, our knit knit, the studio, um, our Chris, the owner is retiring. So she's having a big sale. Sad day. I know. So this, it, so I got this on sale. Um, and I have knit with like snow and I've knit two, three sweaters out of far, I believe. Yeah. Three sweaters out of far, which is the, um, worsted weight. And mm -hmm. then the, DK. And this is not this like the the snow has a little bit of a halo to it. 
And the far is like a chainette construction. And so it's really lofty. Mm -hmm. This is more traditional, um, just plied. Just plied. So, it, it, but it, it, is it is bouncy. So we'll see. I have not knit with that before. So that's coming up. And I think that's all that I've been kind of planning because I have so much on the needles oh. <laughs> that I really, I, yeah, I, I still have that trellis top, which I really want to finish that, but it is, that is not TV knitting. That's like the hard, it's not hard. It's just, you know, complex. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so what have you got coming up? Or you already oh, I showed about you. yours. Yeah. 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 Just one, you know, and I don't know. I, I've been so monogamous that I think, and I've said this before, if I think about casting on, I mean, like casting on that sweater before I finish this one. Yeah. It, it just, um, it was not a good feeling. And I, so I sometimes am jealous of you guys that have all these projects, but then other times well, I think no, because then I get stuff done. Well, yeah, so, that's exactly it. I never get anything done. I think it's a, done. you know, it's everybody has their own way of, of how they want to do it. And yeah. I mean, I have been known to have several projects on the needles at a time, but yeah. Yeah. But not now. Now I'm just pretty, just two things, three things, a blanket, a sock, and a yeah. sweater. Yeah. I'd love to do another shawl, but I just haven't found something that speaks to me yet. Mm. So, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I'm a, I prefer cowls over shawls, I think. I do too. I so I do too. there's shawls are so big but although I just I did my um I don't know when this is going to go up if it's going to go up today or tomorrow it's Friday I just did my free free pattern Friday this morning with a, a shawl so oh but yeah yeah well so um, what's new I um I've got a couple things here um, so we went to Chris's like, or to Liz's, which is the Knit Knit Coeur d'Alene, um, when you had your trunk show. And I've been coveting these bags mm. and they're made out of artist canvas and um, they, and then they've got this little stitch work here and the rivets and the leather handles. And so one of the gals at um, who goes to the show. She lives in Spokane. She makes them yeah, and made a whole bunch of them for both Chris and for Liz. And, um, I finally got one at the, um, it was her anniversary sale, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I got one at her anniversary sale and I am in love with it. It's a great size and it stays open. You know, you put it on the ground and it, or wherever, and it stays open and you can just have your stuff in it. I just love it. And it's got a bunch of pockets on the outside and then these on so that's nice so i got that love it and i've got my sweater on it and then i got it at chris's sale i got these um shawl cuffs mm. and they're leather and they are um they're just pretty yeah they're gorgeous so this one's kind of a pinky red and then this one's dark gray looks black but now, do those come apart? Yeah, they have a snap. Okay, yeah. 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 And do they fit around your wrist? Oh, I wish they did. Oh, yeah. I'd like to meet the adult who has a wrist that small. Um, yeah, almost though. I don't think because they are they are really pretty. Yeah. Great. Just... Pretty bracelets. Especially this one. So yeah, but they're pretty small. So that is um, my acquisition along with this. Nice. And that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you get so, anything new? Um, I got a couple things new. Um, I got a new car. That was oh, my yes. big acquisition. Yes. Because <laughs> my other one, kind of the transmission went when I was going over to Seattle for a trunk show. But I did go to Chris's also um, to see what um, she had. And I walk in and because I'm in this knitting funk right now, it's like, I don't know what I want to do. I walked in and it's just like, so I just bought notions. I bought a bunch of notions, but I bought one of Fun. these cups. 
<laughs> that backwards? That's not backwards. Is it? No. Sorry, mom. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, I love, I love my coffee mugs. So I did buy that. And then I just bought some, um, some soap, some eucalyptus. She had some eucalyptus soap in. What else did I buy there? I bought, I, you know, it seemed like I bought a lot of stuff, but yeah, um, that, so that was it. Um, I do have some yarn coming today. Uh, I was hoping it would be here before we broadcasted. Um, Kevin from Needles at the Ready started dyeing yarn and he had a shop update last week. So I ordered yarn from Kevin. Oh, so fun. I got a notification that it was out for delivery today, but I'll have to show that next week. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Lots of undyed oh. yarn. Lots of the UPS guy doesn't like me very much right now. Oh, uh, last week he he finally quit coming to my door. I had five huge, twenty four by twenty four by twenty four something size boxes delivered, and he just left them on the driveway. I think he's not very happy with me right now because there's been a lot going out and a lot coming in. Oh, and so well, that's but, yeah, that's how it but, works. Uh, that's how it works. So yeah, so that is all for acquisitions. I oh I did get something in the mail, but this is something I'll show this. Michael from Peace oh. for Peace Crafting. If you guys don't watch his podcast, go over and watch Michael. He's just great. And that's Peace for Peace. That turned out Crafting. so isn't beautiful. that cool? Yeah. So this is um glass houses. And so he was doing some sample knitting for me. This is done in um stormy weather and turquoise blue so, so pretty fun mm -hmm. but yeah no other fun acquisitions that I can think of how about favorites do you have any favorites I do and I don't know if I've shown these before these are little itty bitty rubber markers and so I, have I shown these before I don't think so they are they're um by the i don't knitters. know we're 20 episodes in i know, know. i can't remember <laughs> um they're by the knitters helper in beaverton oregon so knittershelper.com and they come in this little like nice. fishing lure box and the thing i like about them is that they i like that they are soft hmm. so um and I have a little bit larger uh, size too of these. Um, I I don't know. I hold the needles in such a way that if I have like the cocoa knits metal markers are just rounded enough mm -hmm. where they don't hurt my hands, but they also have a version called that is like fine metals or something and they have like a silver a gold and a copper finish but they are kind of hard they're not rounded on the edges and those really hurt my hands and there's a lot of markers that are metal that are like that and so I like these um markers because I can't even feel them when I'm knitting and they remind me of the ones that we all used to have and probably still I probably still have some of these they're like the blue or the green and purple ones from clover oh yeah they're soft yeah, and so they're they're kind of like that, but these have all these cool colors. Nice, I know. So it's funny. I have stitch markers all over the house, but there's never one in a bag when you're out and about. <laughs> or the floor floor of my car or under the couch. But there's well, I I like these because I can just throw them in a bag, and this mm -hmm. little closure stays closed. stays closed. Yeah, yeah. You know, I use that would Altoids. be a nightmare. Can you imagine? Oh. Yeah, I just use an Altoids tin lots of times too to oh, throw yeah. stuff in. So, yeah, yeah. I think Iris is making an appearance. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna mess up the bed. She oh no she's oh no, she's, not, she's gonna, gonna take a nap. nap. <clears throat> nice. She got her first big girl haircut, so she's all spiffy. Nice, nice. Um, do you have any? What about you? Do you have any favorites? No, no. Everything, everything is a favorite. Every I know it's yeah, hard. It's hard to pick. I know when I was pick. thinking about it yesterday, I'm like, I have been using these markers like crazy. So I dug out the box. Yeah. What about TV? What have you been watching? Oh, what have I been watching? You know, I made the comment last night when we were zooming because they were talking about all the different shows. It's like, how do you guys have time to watch TV? You know, I just I don't know. I I haven't been. 
I've got some shows I'm trying to watch and I am just behind. It's by the end of the day yeah. when I sit down and watch the news and then I'll turn on a podcast. I'm done. I'm done. So yeah. nothing exciting that's um it's in the forefront of um you know, nothing on Netflix. I've got some series that I've started. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess uh Pose season three is out, and so I have I've gotta oh yeah, gotta get on that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just nothing, nothing. Nah. How about you? Are you watching anything good? I finit we have that PBS passport thing, and so I finished uh it's kind of cool. They like put all of the episodes up of masterpiece and things that are current. Oh, yeah. So I was watched, I just finished Atlantic crossing oh, see. On masterpiece. is so good. Yeah, no, I have been watching that. Yeah. So did you finish so, the whole thing? Yeah, they had it all up. So I binged it. I mean, I watched it in like three sittings. While How I was many there. episodes do they have? I think, is it episode five that just came out? Eight, seven or eight. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. And it's fun. It's, uh, well, I mean, it's not, yeah, it, it's really well. It's about the king and queen of Norway, Norway. I was going to say Denmark. And they are, or they're prince and princess of, yeah, crown prince and princess. So, and the, uh, during World War II and what happens um, to, to, when Norway gets attacked by the Nazis, they flee and the crown prince goes and the king go to London mm -hmm. and the crown princess and the kids go to the U.S. and they right before the war they had had a grand tour of the U.S. and gotten to be friends with the Roosevelt's and so Kyle McLaughlin plays FDR and he does a great job yeah I thought I just I was impressed with him and uh the gal who plays Eleanor does a great job and that and it's fun because it's um a lot of um Dan is it Dan Denmark Norway 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 a lot of Norwegian is spoken and uh, oh. I, I didn't know anything about that culture and so that was kind of fun to hear so anyway highly recommend that yeah no I am watching that yeah and I'm thinking of so I'm I'm almost done with the second season of Discovery of Witches and then uh -huh. I've been hearing a lot about the show called The Nevers on HBO. Oh, so if anybody's watched it. that, it, is it good? I mean, I, it looks kind of good. It looks like something I might like, but, um, yeah, let me know what you think of it if you've watched it and yeah, I mean, there's always other stuff, but we spend every evening, you know, knitting and watching TV and chatting, you know, not, uh -huh. but most. And so, you know, that's when we, when we watch TV and occasionally, I'll have a day where I don't have a lot of deadlines and I'll what I'll catch up on some stuff that while I'm knitting. Yeah. See, I just or cleaning yeah, I, or whatever. Yeah, the TV goes. I mean, I get up early and watch the local news and then it's off until the evening news comes on. I just yeah. don't have time, but yeah. What about reading? What are you reading? Well, I just got this book. And it's uh, Broken Ho Horses by Brandi Carlisle. Oh, and okay. she is one of our favorite, favorite, favorite um, musicians, singers. We've seen her several times in concert. And uh, we bought tickets to her virtual concerts that have happened this past year that have been really fun. And so she just came out with her memoir and she's pretty young, but um, she's been through a lot. So I'm gonna read, so this is the next up. And right now I'm listening to, um, I think I've talked before about that Victoria Thompson series, The Gaslight Mysteries. Mm -hmm. And there's a new one called Murder on Wall Street. And I'm listening to that. Oh, good. And so that's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. So I'm on book three of the court series. So I'm on oh. court um, of Wings and Ruin. And that is by uh, Sarah J. Moss. Mass, Moss. So, you know, those are pretty good. Um, I have to sometimes pay attention to all the different characters. There's, there's yeah. a lot of different characters, but I'm enjoying it. And I, I must be getting close to the end of, of this book. It's, I mean, a lot's happening now. So I, 
and things are starting to kind of fall together mm. um, in this book. So I'm thinking I must be close to the end. And I don't know how many books there are in that series. Um, I think quite a few. So, so is it's it kind of Game of Thronesy. Is it like yeah? It's got fairies and okay. Yeah, this one doesn't Fantasy. have the witches and vampires, but it's got fairies and stuff. So, um, yeah, some steamy sex scenes. <laughs> yeah, mine don't really have that. Yeah. Well, this yeah. this one might, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, Brandy's, yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's what I've been listening to. And yeah. So should we do cool. shop news? Yeah. Okay, shop news. Um, this morning, I just listed my Halloween Advents. It is um, Practical Magic this year is the theme. Oh, I love that. And I'm doing a collaboration with um, Joanna from Stitch in the High Notes. So she's doing a Practical Magic Halloween themed bag. So for the Advent, you'll get 14 minis, a full 100 gram skein and the bag. So those are listed now in the shop and those will ship out mid October. So, and I, cool. you know, I'm not sure how long I'll keep the pre-orders up there. Uh, still trying to play catch up with suppliers for yarn. Mm. I'm okay, but I've got three advents going right now. So um, yeah, but anyway, I've got pre-orders up for that. Uh, Pre-orders are still up for Christmas in July. That will ship mid next month. Um, I probably will have that one going for maybe about three more weeks. I do have somebody that's designing a pattern for that. And that will be 30 20 gram minis and a full screen, skein of yarn. Wow. And then I also put up my um, holiday advents this year. And that is 24. 20 gram minis and a full skein. And there may be a pattern for that to be determined later. <laughs> so, so I have three advents going. <clears throat> I do have my, uh, my clubs. I've got, um, I'm gonna crinkle a little bit here. I am today, maybe tomorrow, um, the, this month's order of Princess Bride Club Sock Club will ship out. This is last month. So if you're ever, you know, wanting to know what you get, this is what you get. So this was last month's shipment. Um, and this is all based on the movie Princess Bride. Uh, it is a sock club. So you'll I get like a that full, combo. yeah, full 100 gram skein of in my glamour space, which is an 8020 and then an 8020 uh, 20 gram mini. This one is called Mawage, Mawage from <laughs> Princess Bride. Uh, Discovery of Witches Club. Um, the first shipment has gone out. You should have received it. The second one will probably go out in a couple weeks. That one, you can choose your base. You can choose uh, plush, which is my merino cashmere nylon on a fingering. Uh, Glamorous, which is an 80 percent superwash merino, 20% nylon on a fingering, my merino cashmere nylon DK base or superwash worsted. So you have four bases you can choose from. Uh, same as with the Pride and Prejudice Club and Happy Hour Club. There is, when you check out, there is a drop down menu so you can pick which base you would like. So I'm having lots of fun. So Happy Hour Club, um, that one went out, was it last week? And um, I can't even think what the drink was. Isn't that funny? What was the drink? <laughs> I don't you remember. always come up with such amazing I know, concoctions. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm sure it was fun. A fun drink. I didn't. Oh, it was a cool blue Hawaiian. That was it. Ooh. So I had the yarn to match the cool blue Hawaiian. Um, I have six <clears throat> for Pride Month. I am doing a collaboration with Naughty Knitting Sacks. And uh, so that was a limited number. I have six left. So let me show you what you get with that kit. So your kit is nice. Oh, that is cute. Naughty Knitting Sack. Okay. Turn away if you're Is this the naughty part? By Peni, colored Peni. So 
So that's the inside. Rainbow. Rainbow. So for pride. A so different sort of that, rainbow. You get uh, a mini skein and you get an extra 20 grams of stormy weather. And then you get the pattern for this cowl. So this is a slip stitch cowl. That so, turned out so great. Isn't that cool? And that was designed by? By Carmen, our friend Carmen. Carmen is knitting on Ravelry. She keeps wonderful notes on all of her projects. Oh my gosh, she does. So nice big rainbow cowl. So um, yeah, so I've got six left for pride. This is the pattern, it includes the pattern. Uh, so that's a fun is, kit. Yeah, it's a fun kit. So, and that is it. No new colorways right now. I'm, well, I did actually two new colorways yesterday. Here's, but one, here's Daisy making an appearance. She doesn't usually get involved. She's got to make her bed for 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's what's going on in the shop. Lots cool. Advents. Yeah. Lots of clubs, lots of, lots of good clubs. Stuff. Yeah, keeping me busy. Oh, trunk show. I do have a trunk show uh, May, uh, I think it's 9th. Starts May 9th. It'll run for a week in um, Center of the Yarniverse in Ashland, Virginia. Oh. Um, we'll talk about that probably more on our. Oh no, probably won't talk about that. Yeah, so Center of the Yarniverse, Ashland, Virginia, May 9th, it'll run for a week. So if you're in the Virginia area and wanna go out and see Trilogy Yarns, uh, up close and personal, we'll be there. I'll be there, I won't be there, my yarn will be there. Um, yeah, and I think that is it. Great. All right, well, do you have a word of the day? <gasps> No, but I can get one. You talk. <laughs> think, I'll find a word of the I day. I think people want a word of the day. I they probably do. Yeah. So I will get you the word of the day. You know, I was getting those emails all the time. And I did not they stopped. Yeah, so Maybe you had a, just which is weird system. because yeah. No, who I wish I wish people would stop any sending me emails, but um let me think here. I am getting a big shipment of stuff from Nurse Pride, and a lot of it is going to be our uh, um, little starter kits for interchangeable needle sets. They have um, several of those, like they have a Cubics one, I or no, not Cubics, um, Carbons. Um, um, I can't think of the name of the needle. What is wrong with me? These these um, wooden needles, they're classic wooden needles, symphony. Um, and Nova Platina, which is their metal uh, stainless steel needles. And I think that's about it for the starter set. So I'm gonna get those. And every month on social media, I do a hashtag giveaway. And so there'll be like a theme for the month, like this month is cowls because of the cowl, um, the cowl knit along that's happening. And the hashtag is uh, cowl, knit cowls KP for knitters pride. I think that's what it is. I'm, I'll put it in the show notes. Um, and so at the end of the month, I do a random number generated drawing and the winner uh gets a like a usually I'll send like one of these or a set of tips and a cord or double set of double points or whatever but um I think I will start sending out those little starter kits because that's a really fun thing to get and it is a great way to try out uh, yeah. new, new needles. needles I think there's like three sets of tips and a few cords hmm. and so it's kind of fun nice yeah. So what's our word? Archipelago. Oh. <laughs> and that, you know what means, that means that means an expanse of water with many scattered islands or a group of islands. So archipelago. 
That's like finally one that I know. <laughs> I know. After all these weeks of words. That's funny. All right. Well, we thank you again for joining us and be well. Uh, wear your mask as directed by the CDC and get your shots. Doesn't hurt. Yes. And um, what else? Like, subscribe, share. If you if you have your knitting buddies, uh, let them know about our podcast. And um, I think that's about it. Yeah. Support share your local yarn shop. Yeah. Be sure and comment. Support your you local get... yarn shop. Yes. yes. And uh, yeah, comment because we will be having the giveaway for to celebrate our twentieth um, episode. So comment um, below and good luck. All right, everybody have a good week. Bye. Bye.